Hello students, how are you all? I know not much time is left for the exam and so here we are back with the part 18th of the video in the previous year question series where we discuss questions which were asked in 2023 paper of your food science and technology. I'm Divyansh Gupta, your mentor for food science and technology. And straight away going to the first question because I don't want to spend much of your time. So the first question is color of the fruits containing anthocyanin ranges from so the anthocyanin pigments as we know they have the blue to bright red color so fourth option is the right answer for this question so coming on to the next question we have match the list of the polymer with the voluntary codes so what are voluntary codes actually these numbers you have obviously seen at the back of the plastic bottles or containers so these determine the number of uh, the, these numbers determine which type of plastic is being used in the manufacturing of that particular container so hdp if we see hdp has number two then pet that is polyethylene terephthalate has number one then pvc has number three and then LDP has number four. So that means three, two, no, no, no. Three, four, two, one. So three, four, two, one is the correct sequence. So three, four, two, one, that comes second as the right answer for this question. I hope you understood this question, but you can obviously expect some other, num other numbers to be there in this match. Then we have which of the following is not used to attain the active dough development process. So Hydrogen peroxide is generally not used. Hydrogen peroxide, as you all know, it has bactericidal properties. So it will be not used in some dough development, but L-cysteine, potassium bromate and ascorbic acid can be used. So three is the right answer for this question. Then we have, we have to match the uh, clause of ISO 22000-2005 with its heading. So 7.2 is for prerequisite programs, which is your PRP. So 7.2 is for third. Then we have, 5.8 is for management review. Then we have 7.6 is for establishing the HSCCB plan and 5.2 is for your food safety policy. So that comes 3, 4, 1, 2 as the correct sequence of this question. So 3, 4, 1, 2 is the first option. That means this is the right answer for this question. Then we have assertion reason based question. The bleaching and maturing agents are used in the preparation of clay for yes. Then because they reduce the stabilizing interaction between starch and proteins as well as in between starch and lipids. No, this is not correct. So at this means that statement A is correct, but statement reason is that is your reason is not correct. So third option is the right answer for this question. Then we have we have to match the pasteurization temperature of your uh, following food products. So ice cream generally is pasteurized at 80 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. And then liquid egg is pasteurized at 64.5 degrees Celsius for 2.5 minutes. Then we have fruit juice. Fruit juice is pasteurized at 68 point, 68 to 60, uh, 65 to 68 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes and beer is pasteurized at 88 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. So that comes out as 4, then 1, then 3, and then two as the right sequence for this question. So fourth is the right sequence for this question. Then we have, what is the full form of MAP in active packaging technology? So a very simple question, which is your modified atmospheric packaging is the right answer for this question. Then we have, Classify the chemicals which are used for bleaching of white wheat flour. So chlorine is used, then uh, potassium metabisulfite is not used, then benzoyl peroxide is used, acetone peroxide is also used, calcium oxalate is not used. That means A, C and D are the right options for this question. That means fourth is the right answer for this question. Then coming on to next question we have, which of the following options in what ways can the starch be used from the following option in which ways the starch can be used so it can be used as a thickening agent it can be used as a binding agent and it can be used to mold the gel which is used as a gelling agent but it cannot be used as a emulsifying agent and not as a foaming agent that means a b c are the right answers for this question that means third is the right answer for this question then coming on to next question we have 
which of the following is not a type of difference sensory test so paired comparison test is coming under different test duo trio also and triangle test also but monadic test is something else so it is not coming even in this category and the odd one out so this is the right answer for this question then we have according to my plate for the day by national institute of nutrition india arrange the following groups in correct sequence highest to lowest proportion of intake so first of all we should have vegetables that means a first of all then we should have cereals and nutraceuticals then means your b then we have fruits which is your e then we have cereals pulses fresh fruits and all that means c and at the last we would have d that means fats and oils in the less amount and only the essential fats and oils that means your omega-3 omega-6 epa dha ala and also eicosapentaenoic acid docosahexaenoic acid that will come in fats and oils category only the good fats you should take so a b e c d let's check which one is the right answer a b e c d is coming as a third as the right option for this question so this was all in this series of the previous year question which we in which we completely analyzed 2022 paper and 2023 paper we discussed almost all questions which were asked in these two previous years and we'll hopefully next year post 2022 24 paper so uh, till now i guess everyone of you has a very good preparation and you know the pattern in which the questions will be asked you are aware about the methodology which can be asked like you saw flowchart based question you saw jumbled up questions you saw assertion and reason based question then statement based question then straight away simple questions were also there so you can very well expect and predict which type of questions can be there in your exam so this was Devansh Gupta your mentor for food science and technology and I hope that you do your best in the exam all the best for your exam and stay connected for further videos uh, we'll be soon posting some videos related to some other exams and stay connected on this aggravation for you channel and share this video to all your friends who will be giving this exam this year so that was all for this series thank you for watching this series uh, you all have been a very kind listener so like this video and comment down all your queries which you may have so thank you